The final shot of the Matrix was a surprising moment. Neo flies towards the screen. He did show other abilities, such as super speed and stopping bullets. But Neo spontaneously flying instilled the feeling that he could do anything. He has become a Superman. But how and why can he fly? Today we're going to analyze one of Neo's most iconic abilities, flight. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Neo's first encounter with Heights was when he was trying to escape from the ancients at his job at Metacortex. Morpheus was leading him by phone to exit the building via a scaffolding. Thomas Anderson did try to reach it, but he was too afraid. The second time was during the jumping program. Morpheus was teaching Neo that the rules of the simulation can be bent or broken. You have to let it all go, Neo. Fear, doubt, and disbelief. Free your mind. It is established that every red pill fails the jumping test on their first attempt. The Nebuchadnezzar crew knew that Morpheus thought he had found the one, so they were curious to see if Neo could do what no one else could. But Neo was still in doubt, and so he failed the jumping test. Everybody falls the first time. During the first movie, Neo was struggling with his beliefs. As Thomas Anderson, he was a skeptic, but his blue pill name wasn't by chance, mind you. The name Thomas is from Thomas the Apostle of Jesus, who was a non-believer. Also, Neo's nihilism complements the fact that he doesn't believe in things like jumping from building to building, much less fly. It isn't until Neo meets the Spoon Boy that he begins to understand what Morpheus was trying to teach him. Instead, only try to realize the truth. What truth? There is no spoon. As Neo slowly begins to grasp the truth that the Matrix is not real, he convinces himself that he might have a chance against the agents. He's beginning to believe. Neo was taking risks inside the Matrix. Yet he wasn't the only one who developed powers after taking the red pill. As we know, there have been five anomalies before Neo. Morpheus explained one of the abilities of the previous anomaly, the ability to modify the Matrix. When the Matrix was first built, there was a man born inside who had the ability to change whatever he wanted, to remake the Matrix as he saw fit. And when Neo became the anomaly, he could see the Matrix as binary code and manipulate it. He can bend or break the rules of the simulation. So if he can believe that he can fly, he can and does. However, Neo wasn't the only one who could fly in the Matrix. Smith, in Matrix Revolutions, flies during the final battle against Neo. How and when did Smith gain this ability? There are two important factors as to how and when. The first is that Smith had part of the anomaly's code embedded in him, though Smith could not fly after his return in Matrix Reloaded. It's only after he assimilates a specific program that Smith gains the power of flight, which leads us to believe that the ability to fly is not a Matrix hack. It's an ability that can be granted and activated. But the Oracle doesn't fly. No, she doesn't. So who can be the program that gave Smith the ability to fly? Seraph. Seraph did have wings once, but he lost them when he became an exile. Regardless, after Smith assimilated Seraph, he gained this new ability. So there is the possibility that the Integral Anomaly's abilities are not entirely their own or new. Some abilities already exist somewhere within the Matrix. Perhaps an agent from a previous Matrix could stop bullets. Others like Seraph could fly. Maybe in the future, if another anomaly appears, in addition to having all of Neo's abilities, it could develop a new one. Let's say the ability to change their shells at will, or have special eyes like the Oracle. 
The only ability that Neo accidentally uses that breaks the rules of the Matrix was being able to connect to the simulation without jacking in. The Merovingian wasn't that impressed by Neo's power. Okay, you have some skin. Neo didn't have any ability that he hadn't already seen before from the previous anomalies. And I will survive you. But what does surprise him is how Neo managed to enter Mobile Av. I am curious though as to how it actually happened. Do you know? No. No? I did not think so. But it is always best to ask. Another important aspect of Neo's ability to fly is what it symbolizes. According to Judeo-Christian mythology, after Jesus Christ was resurrected, he ascended to heaven. The movie ending with Neo flying is comparable to the rise of Jesus. It's the movie's way of telling us that Neo has become the savior of humanity. In leaked footage from the Matrix 4 set, we saw Trinity and Neo jumping off a building and Trinity flying away. This since has been confirmed by one of the directors of the movie, James McTeague. In this movie, in Matrix 4, and you look at it on the internet, we got Keanu and Carrie Ann, um, Moss, you know, Trinity and Neo to jump off a 45 story building, right? For real. So understand that Neo's abilities, at least those he manifested in the Matrix, could have been inherited from his predecessors. They are skills or abilities that have already existed in the Matrix in previous versions. They only need to be activated, perhaps by either believing that they can do them or with the help of a special code, like the anomaly. We hope to see new abilities be introduced in Matrix 4, what new skills will be introduced in the franchise, and maybe understand a little bit more about how the Red Pills develop these special skills. But do you agree? What new abilities will be added in Matrix 4? Did Neo's abilities already exist in the Matrix? Tricks Explained, please leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.